And certainly, it might have been a good day to visit the beach, but I didn't visit the beach today, Erica. Yeah, our coastal locations were a little cool as far as like the South Bay goes, but up in the Santa Cruz area, yeah, it was a nice day out there, nice beach day for sure. And it was warm inland. We are seeing those low clouds really coming back once again this evening. We saw them really start to move in around dinner time tonight by 8 p.m. Yeah, they were already moving into the Salinas Valley. So yes, once again, we'll wake up to those low clouds and we might even see some patchy fog and squeeze a little bit of drizzle out there. Tomorrow, though, we will continue to see those low clouds sticking around the Monter Monterey Peninsula once again and along the coast. I do think we'll see some more clearing up in the Santa Cruz area. And for our inland locations, we'll see mostly sunny skies out there once again before the return of those low clouds move back in tomorrow night. Here's a look at some of our daytime highs because, yes, our inland, like I said, they were toasty out there. Parkfield, you're at 105 today. You were at 95 yesterday, so that's a, about a 10 degree increase. Hollister 85 today, Big Sur 80, Watsonville 77, 71 for Salinas and Monterey 68. Not quite hitting that 70 degree mark today. Here's what the temperatures were yesterday, so you can see overall we were warmer for most areas. However, the coastal locations dropped a couple degrees or two, and we'll see a little decrease once again tomorrow in warmer temperatures for our inland locations. Here's what we're looking at. This high pressure system here is hanging out in the Pacific Northwest. They are seeing temperatures. I just looked at some of the temperatures out there and they're still sitting into the 90s even at this hour. So it is very warm up there, something they are just not used to. But for us, we are seeing those temperatures warm for our inland locations, but we have this low pressure here that's helping to keep our coastal locations a bit cooler. And we're also seeing that onshore flow, which is why we are seeing those low clouds making the return most every night for the last few nights. Now, this low pressure system is just going to hang out to the coast. It's not actually going to move in. We'll actually warm up just a little bit again on Monday after just a slight cool down tomorrow on Sunday. Because of that low pressure, we do have some wind that is associated with it. And all that's really going to do is produce a gale warning that uh, takes place tomorrow afternoon, Sunday at 3 p.m. So mariners, just be aware of those hazardous conditions out there tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at those temperatures tomorrow, 79 for Santa Cruz is very comfortable out there. We will see those 90s for the Santa Cruz Mountains once again. 68 for Davenport. Overnight lows are going to be in the 50s. We'll see some 60s out there, so very comfortable tonight. Salinas, 70 tomorrow, 75 for San Juan Batista. A little bit warmer as we head inland. 82 for Hollister. Marina, 63. And we're going to see those 60s for the Monterey Peninsula once again. It's not going to be the prettiest day out there, but we do have temperatures 68 for Monterey, 67 for Carmel by the Sea and 62 for Pebble Beach. You guys will be in those clouds, I think, most of the day tomorrow. Up and down the Salinas Valley, we gradually warm up as we move south. 80 for Soledad, 89 for King City, and yes, those triple digits once again for Bradley and Parkfield, 82 for Big Sur. Let's go ahead and take a look at that seven-day forecast. For our coastal locations, we're going to remain in those mid to upper 60s, maybe tapping into those 70s every once in a while, but temperature is really not budging much. We will see partly cloudy skies the next couple of days. A little bit more sunshine as we head into the first part of the week and then those low clouds return once again on Thursday. That June gloom, maybe no sky July. For our inland locations, we will see those toasty temps for the next couple of days before we start cooling down midweek. We are watching some monsoonal flow, so I'm, I don't think it's going to impact us, but we are going to watch that for you Wednesday into Thursday, and we'll keep tracking that for you. But overall, it's looking like a nice way to end the weekend. Yeah, maybe I will head to the beach next week. The temps look awesome. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Thank you, Erica.